this man you're gonna see here, responsible for creating a lot of childhood memories all across the world. He's in town for a show this weekend, but first we get a little glimpse of his work. Nice uh, ducky wucky, eat them caviar sandwiches. <laughs> Just about the best spaghetti I ever made. Hey, cut that out, Cookie. You're chewing up the mop. Far away from everywhere. With a bunch of mighty little critters, they're called the Paw Paw Bears. <laughs> what hasn't he done, huh? Ron Campbell is doing a one man show this weekend at Gallery 22 in Delaware. It is a real pleasure to have you here this weekend. You just showed some scenes from Paw Paw, a show I'd even forgotten I'd been <laughs> involved in. Really? Wow. Well, you've done so you much. You've done so yeah. much. So do you have a favorite thing that you worked on over the years? Uh, do you have a favorite son or a favorite daughter? <laughs> That's hard, it's isn't it? It's not really possible, no. Oh, yeah. really? Well, we're talking the like Flintstones, that. the Smurfs for 10 years. Yes, Rugrats for 10 years. Uh, uh, you do a lot of things in 50 years. You and know? the yeah. Beatles. But of I course, when you're working on a show for 10 years, doesn't mean you've spent the entire year working on it. You, you work on that season, and then you go and work on other things. On something so, else. I just so think you must have an incredibly creative mind it's creative mind yes i don't think of it that way it's just what i did it's like driving a bus you know it's uh, nothing special so behind us we can see the yellow submarine from from yes. the beatles and you were part of that all those many I years was, ago i was 28 when i was animating many scenes in the yellow submarine uh let's see we did my colleague and i dwayne animated about 12 minutes and it took us eight months to do that's that's the kind of time frame you have when you're animating a feature film. You oh, know. wow. That was back then. It's not done that way today, no, is no, it? No, no, no. They sit in front of computer screens. Mm -hmm. you know. Yes, it is a little bit different. What do you prefer, early or late Beatles? Uh, I like the early Beatles. Um, I was 24 years old when I was directing that TV show from Australia. And uh, uh, I have a special soft spot for that because I like the mop top beetles and the I want to hold your hand <laughs> thing, you know, it's sweet. Did you ever get to meet them? No, I didn't. No, I was always on the other side of the world to where they were. I was in Australia on the TV show and I was in Hollywood, stuck in Hollywood, unable to go to London because of uh, legal reasons. I was applying for citizenship sure. of America. So uh, Scooby-Doo is one that, you know, kids <laughs> even today would recognize because yes. that is still Scooby -Doo, on Scooby-Doo, where are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I love Scooby-Doo. I worked on the first season and then my studio produced a couple of episodes in the middle of the 70s. Um, my studio was across the road from Hanna-Barbera and as a result, Bill Hanna used to send excess production over to my studio. And I, I guess that's why I worked on so many different Hanna-Barbera shows. Well, sure. Mm -hmm. And the Jetsons, of course. No one can forget the Jetsons. When you look right. back on the Jetsons, do you ever think you should be there in flying saucers by now? Or? Good heavens, I couldn't imagine. <laughs> I just saw the, the freeway now. You know, imagine if they were all flying. It would be a real mess. Freeway. And the Flintstones, of course. That's one from my generation. Yes. I mean, I was alive when that was on the air for real. You know, the first time around. Right, so. right. Well, I remember the Flintstones particularly because um, I was asked to do the storyboard for a two-hour special where the... Flintstones meet the Jetsons, and I couldn't believe what we're going to make a film with. Mm -hmm. Stone Age meets the future. That's I remember bizarre. that. I remember yeah, that. I remember yeah. that too. Many people do, and, yeah. and I thought it was going to be a terrible film, but it turned out to be very popular. I mm -hmm. love that. So you have an art show coming up this week, and I'm going to give you the details on that in just a second. So is this what you're doing now in your spare time? In order to stay alive as long as possible, <laughs> I continue to work, but I can't make cartoon films anymore, so I do painting. And when you do paintings, you like to show them. When you show them, you like to sell them. And here I am, you know, almost 80 years old, still struggling along, trying to earn a living, pay my electric bill. You know, <laughs> so. Well, I said it when, and I meant it, you're a national treasure. I mean, because you are a part of all of our childhood growing up and what you were able to do, really beautiful work. Well, never forget, all films are made by many people, and I was one That's of them. That's true. That's, you know, so I don't take credit for everything at all. I worked with some wonderfully talented people. All right, humble but incredibly impressive. We're so glad to have well, you with us this morning. Thank you, man. Okay, thank you. And the show, you can catch it this weekend, Gallery 22 in Delaware. It is free, and yes, you can buy some of Ron Campbell's amazing art. It's going to be for sale, so get out there and check it out. And we thank you for the... Welcome back, everybody. Bringing back...